Hey, this is Luke with the Android Guys Review Podcast. Here always with Scott. Howdy, Luke. How you doing? I'm doing all right. You have a game to talk about today. I do. What do you got? This one is called Downhill Smash. Mm. And this is a game that I pre-registered for. Oh. I saw this pop up in an email from the developers, which uh-huh. are Zepto Lab. Okay. These are the guys behind uh, Cut the Rope. Yeah. Omnom, the little green guy. Yep. Uh, so they had reached out, their PR team or somebody mm-hmm. had mentioned that the game was coming out and that you could pre-register for it. So I did. And about a week ago, I got a notification that it was available. Nice. And that's what I'm doing. I've been reviewing this game called Downhill Smash. Sweet. It's a pretty fun game. I like the game quite a bit. Uh, this premise is pretty simple. You are immediately thrown into this kind of little boulder like, uh, I don't call it a vehicle, but it's, it's like this little wheel okay. thing that you're going down a hill and you, you basically hold your finger to the screen to accelerate. Uh huh. And at the same time, it also is in charge of how, uh, you shoot at, um, like enemies on the screen uh-huh. and you basically want to just mow through these zombies and the things that they're building. Do you have to like aim at them or is it just automatic fires at them? Automatic. Okay. So uh, it just basically shoots straight ahead. Gotcha. And it also, as you um, level up the vehicle, you'll see that you can uh, kind of increase how the like these spikes come out of the wheel oh, of the boulder. Okay. So when you actually run into things, you are destroying them. All right. So you basically, you, you know, even in the first few times you'll play, it'll say, don't let go of the screen or whatever. Mm. So that's not necessarily true from what I found, but okay. early on you want to kind of get in the habit of. Gotcha. For the most it. part you, you do, but yeah. there are some instances where you might want to stop. Right. And that it would or be slow down, I guess. That if you also want to kind of jump, you can make the vehicle hop. Oh, so okay. the this whole premise of this is you're uh, at least on the first level, you're trying to outrun an avalanche. Oh, and you want to just go. You're doing like these hills, ups and you know down. On you've got some bridges and different kind of like obstacles that are being built. They're like mm-hmm. um, little. They almost look like Angry Birds. Like what the pigs would build. Oh, yeah. Of, like, yeah. Little stick buildings and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you uh, are in charge of basically just driving from one end to the other and you need to get there to the finish line. Gotcha. But you also want to outrun the avalanche. Mm. As you go through it, the first couple of times you'll realize, wow, this, you know, it's pretty difficult to stay ahead of this. Uh, I also run out of gas because I'm, you know, holding down so long. Oh, uh, so there's the like gas. a gas meter too. Mm-hmm. Interesting. There's a gas meter. There is, uh, there's about five or six different components that you'll find as you start to play. Oh, to your machine. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's say, for instance, you, you know, play for a moment and you get, you know, an eighth of the way through. Mm-hmm. You'll accumulate coins each time. Uh, based off of distance and then you'll also be able to kind of like go through the coins kind of like collect them and then um, you can use those coins to kind of improve your boulder right. your vehicle so you can do things like uh, level up the engine mm-hmm. level up the uh, mass the weight of it you can level up the different weapons mm-hmm. so when you hold down it just kind of got like this machine gun spray but then when you take your finger off, it'll shoot like a rocket, like a missile kind of thing. Oh, so there's like a secondary weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you'll use that as you'll encounter at the end, like uh, there are throughout the level, there are like markers where there are like these giant ogre kind of monster things. And you can't just shoot him quickly. You'll Mm -hmm. have to kind of like, for me, I roll up to him and then I'll just kind of like let go and shoot the missile at him and you let it explode and you can't damage yourself. So, um, all at the same time trying to outrun right. the stuff from the left side of the screen. Right. So as you play the game, um, you'll find that, you know, leveling up, you do feel the difference. So as you make the thing heavier, mm-hmm. it feels heavier. 
oh. when you increase the... So you're not jumping as high or not hitting ramps as mm-hmm. hard or something. And gotcha. you can also level up like how high you jump or the time it takes between jumping. I oh, yeah. Say. Okay. So it kind of recharges the ability to get a full jump. Mm-hmm. So there are different mechanics in there. And I do like that. Um, it is the kind of game that you can sit down and you know, crash right away and start over and crash right away. Mm-hmm. Or you could start to figure out, you know, let's see what happens if I, you know, I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Um, why don't I just try leveling up the engine? Sure. Know, so I can you know, get that to get there a little faster, faster, <clears throat> or I'm making it and I don't have any problem with the progress. I seem to be blowing through all my obstacles and everything. I'm just running out of fuel. Mm. So you can level that up. And uh, it's, Pretty cool. Like after each level, when you're, you know, caught by the avalanche, um, you have the ability immediately to collect those coins Mm -hmm. or for uh, double the amount of coins you can watch an ad. Oh, okay. So you don't really have any ads that I've seen so far that you're forced to watch. Hmm. You will see one that uh, if you want to double up your rewards. And you can also do that... um, Let's say, for instance, you get caught by the avalanche. Mm-hmm. You have the option to uh, quickly, if you react, you can uh, watch an ad and then kind of resume where you left off. Oh, okay. And then there are some other things that you can collect throughout the game based off of distance and as uh, in-game accomplishments, like so many jumps or collect so many coins. And right. You collect these little purple gems and you can re- redeem those for different things. So Gotcha. Uh, that those can also be redeemed for, you know, a continue. Mm-hmm. So it's nothing revolutionary, um, but it's in a way that uh, I like it. Yeah. Um, it can get pretty heavy with the ads if you let it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I kind of have like a soft rule of if I die right away, I don't care. I'm not going to sit through an ad. But right. if I get more than halfway through that, and I've collected quite a few coins. Right. It's worth, you know, 15 to 30 second of my time to double that. Sure. And uh, so far I've gotten through, I think, three of the levels. Mm-hmm. And each one's unique. One is like a snowscape with like a very primitive kind of uh, drawings with these little zombies. And mm-hmm. it feels like you're looking at it from a pretty far distance. Mm-hmm. So and the camera never really does anything where it zooms in or whatever right Uh, there are some little animations that if you get like uh, a nice combo of like smashing a building or getting some cool you know air trick or something that Mm -hmm. type of stuff but yeah it's uh it's a fun game i ended up scoring this thing pretty high not quite an editor's choice but just short of it i got it at a 3.9 nice so uh, high marks for features and graphics. Yeah. And uh, really high for replay value. Hmm. It, it, I, I find myself wanting to play. Right. Um, I gave it a three and a half on ads and notifications um, just because you can end up watching a lot of ads. Yeah. So it's, it's okay, but it's not great. Uh, you can unlock for $10. You can unlock so that you don't have to watch any ads. Sure. And all of your rewards will be doubled. Oh, so nice. You'll get that benefit, and it's not just removing ads. That's becoming more and more popular, I'm seeing, in, in kind of those free-to-play games. Yeah. They're right. saying, you know, give us a little bit of money, and we'll give you all the benefits of watching ads without having to watch them. Yeah. Instead of doing, like, three bucks to just get rid of ads, right? throw us ten, and you'll get extra incentives every time. Right. So, yeah, um, it's it's a fun game. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see where it goes. The first level was snow. Mm-hmm. Second level was, um, I'm trying to think it was, uh, I know one of the levels was like spooky kind of graveyard, mm-hmm. uh, Halloween looking. Another gotcha. one is uh, like a, I don't call it like a forest, but kind of like woods kind mm-hmm. of thing. And the, I'm on the fourth one now, which is kind of like that, but more of like a pink mm. uh color palette okay so, so everything's each a little different. varied yeah and it, you can go back and try to play a level again as you after you've leveled mm-hmm. up and maybe get better scores yeah and you really notice going back with a much more improved vehicle that mm-hmm. you kind of really go through that level much quicker interesting um, 
using like a level three, you know, but the actual levels are like up to, I believe a hundred. Oh, wow. So some of the things that I have are in their forties now. Sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool when you make the changes to it, you feel the changes to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, sound is a little repetitive. The sound effects are cool. Yeah. Um, but the music is just a little repetitive, but yeah. you know, nothing that bothers me. Cool. Yeah. It's uh downhill smash from Zepto lab. Awesome. Well, thanks Scott. You got it. <laughs>